Terry, what's your initial reaction to the Korea news? Well, I was a little, I'm very surprised. I, you know, I, I know enough about the Mets right now with Steve Cohen as the boss, and he, with he, when he said, hey, we need one more piece, I thought this was going to be the piece. Now, we may be talking here next week that this guy's now signed with the Dodgers. So you never know what, you know, what the next move's going to make. It's, uh, uh, I, I know Scott Boras pretty well, and he's not going to give up. And so unless he gets what he wants, they're, they're, this guy may be good someplace else next week. Yeah, Terry, I was surprised that he's not going to be a Met after all. I, I thought that they were going to work through this, but that just goes to show you what the level of risk is with this guy, at least in, in terms of what the Met doctors and the Met lawyers thought. And look, if they have any issues with this guy physically, then they're doing the right thing by walking away. Yeah, they don't have the nice finishing touch on the offseason that they would have if Carlos Correa were going to be a Met, but now they don't have risk, and this also gives them money to plow into other things and, you know, Terry, you're right. I mean, Steve Cohen's going to spend. He's going to get other players. So I don't think this is a huge blow to the Mets. It, it takes a little bit of the shine maybe off the offseason, but it's not some sort of a kill shot. Yeah, I mean, they'll be okay. Ultimately, we have plenty of show to get into all that. But Hannah, I know there's one person on the set who may not be surprised. You mentioned last week the word that you used was the love between Correa and the Twins. So how do you feel? You're not surprised at all. I'm assuming that he's back with Minnesota. I mean, I'm a little surprised. Did we see two deals falling through? But no, I think the longer it took, it did start to feel like the more likely something weird happens at the end. And, and I did think perhaps in the end that could benefit the Twins because they were so persistent with him. I mean, they truly fell in love with him last year. They really uh, embraced his sort of outspoken leadership style in the clubhouse, which just sort of seems unusual for a player who's not only there for their first year, but could potentially only be there for one year. I mean, even at the winter meetings in December before Cray signed anywhere, people were obviously asking Rocco Baldelli, the Twins manager, about it. And he was saying, I talk to him all the time. He still keeps in touch with all of the players, with the hitting coach. Jose Miranda went to Houston to work out with him. I mean, they really felt like he had embraced the team and the players. Rocco spoke really highly of how well Correa knew even their farm system after just one year. So they're obviously thrilled to have him back, but they really felt like they had made a positive impression on him as well as he obviously made a positive impression on them. Yeah, that's great. They could have a love affair in Minnesota and we're <laughs> sitting here and I'm upset now. Terry, right before the show, I was saying I'm a little sad today. You pump me back up though with I think an important message that we should not forget if you're a Mets fan, saying what the owner said initially when they signed Correa and that gives you confidence that maybe they could go out there and still do something else. Yeah, he said this 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 he was wanted one more they wanted one more piece and he thought this was going to be the guy. Now that they don't get him, there's still going to be a piece coming, believe me.